Scott Derrickson is directing the sequel to Labyrinth. Josh Trank comments on the Trank cut for 2015's Fantastic Four. American Horror Story gets a spinoff and is a Snake Eyes trailer coming soon. Hello, hello, I'm Chris Killian and I did the most dangerous thing I've ever done. I got a haircut. Scott Derrickson left Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness a few months back and we now know what he's working on next, a sequel to the cult classic Labyrinth. I support this for a few reasons, but I have suggestions. Number one. Do it like the prequel series to The Dark Crystal on Netflix. That means I want real puppets and minimal CGI. Number two, make it scary. I know it's probably a kid's movie, but it needs to give children nightmares, just like the original gave me. Number three, if you can't have David Bowie as the Goblin King, at the very least, keep the cod piece. I got a fever, <laughs> and the only prescription it's more cod piece. You can't have Labyrinth without a giant, inappropriate cod piece. Day 77. No word yet if they're bringing Jennifer Connelly back, but one can only assume she'll make an appearance. With the Snyder Cut getting so much attention lately, someone on Twitter asked Josh Trank about 2015's Fantastic Four and if we'll ever get the Trank Cut, to which the director responded, no need, which I'm assuming implies that no one ever needs to see that, to which we both agree. American Horror Story is getting a spinoff called, get this, American Horror Stories, and it actually sounds better because each story will be condensed into individual episodes rather than spread out among entire seasons that always end up making zero sense to me. Slam Dance, the same production company behind the upcoming film The Old Guard with Charlize Theron, is also producing the upcoming G.I. Joe spin-off slash reboot Snake Eyes. Not to be confused with the 90s Nicolas Cage movie no one remembers. Well, Slam Dance took to Twitter to drop a random clip of Snake Eyes from the old G.I. Joe movie, and now fans are all riled up, thinking this means that they're teasing an upcoming Snake Eyes trailer to be released soon, which it better be, the movie's slated for October. Speaking of trailers, where's that Godzilla vs. Kong trailer at? It's almost June, guys. November's gonna be here in like four days. Get on it. Also, I told you guys Mark Henry would make a great dark side. Just check out this tweet. He clearly understands the character. Maybe Ray Porter and Mark Henry need to settle this like men the old fashioned way and arm wrestle over it. Winner takes dark side. <laughs> P.S. Oh my god, I've been playing Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath and Robocop is just sick. If we don't get a Robocop sequel pronto, someone needs to get to work making a new Robocop video game because this is amazing. Okay, that's enough thought vomit from me. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you can find me at CK Comedy. Until next time, keep washing your hands and thanks for coming to comicbook.com for the best geek news. Hello, hello, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn the notifications on because we're bringing you the best geek news Monday through Friday at 11.30 Eastern Time. If you didn't like the video, why are you still watching this? I would have stopped watching forever ago. Go on, get out of here. Go find something you like.